somebody is trying to connect Pastor Ezekiel with crimes against humanity, abduction, fraud, fraud, fraud and all these things. You see, when you try to compare the two, there is the Mackenzie and Ezekiel. We are waiting for the for the ruling. Eh? Yeah. Bishop is here with the soldati with the Pastor Sekiel. Yes, 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 comment on what we call it, but we don't comment on the merits of the case, but co kindly comment on general issues, then we leave it the court. After the court now we can discuss it, because now it's not on public. Yes. Eh? Yeah. Are we ready to go? Media people are always ready to go. <laughs> yes, members of the Fourth State. We are here with the bishop in solidarity with uh, Pastor Ezekiel. As we all, we all know, he's the religious father to, pa to Pastor Ezekiel, and uh, we are ready for the ruling. And we wait for the court to tell us why he should be let out or why he should be held further in court. As you are aware and you are briefed in the morning, there was a, a certain brief and then we had filed an, another application. But then now we leave it to the court to decide. Now let us have Bishop tell you why he's here and how we intend to proceed. Bishop. Thank you. Uh, as you can see, we are so many spiritual people, religious authorities which are here. We just came to be in solidarity with Pastor Ezekiel. Whatever is happening with Pastor Ezekiel is a common thing that everybody knows. And you can sense even in the country that the mood is that people have been patient enough, waiting to see how the ruling is going to be made whether Ezekiel is going to be released and that is our prayer and our desire as a spiritual authorities in the country we wouldn't it look like the church is under persecution we are not opposed to any investigations the only thing we are opposing is what we are calling tacit persecution and affliction whereby somebody is trying to connect Pastor Ezekiel with crimes against humanity, abduction, fraud, fraud, fraud and all these things. You see, when you try to compare the two, there is the Mackenzie and Ezekiel, whatever Pastor Ezekiel is doing is out in the open. He is always on TV, he is on Facebook, he is in crusades, and his church is open. But whatever the other person does, maybe it is done in the forest. But as for Pastor Ezekiel, we know he is a clean man. And also ourselves, we cannot come out to support somebody that we know has gray areas. We know he is clean, we know he is straight, and we know this honorable court may deliver a judgment that is going to cause us to go on our knees to thank God because truth shall be known and truth shall set this country free. I've been with Pastor Ezekiel almost on a daily basis and he's not bitter about everybody or about anybody and he's just sent me to tell those that are praying for him 
that we should continue praying for justice not only for him but to pray for the justice of everybody whose rights may be downtrodden and also he says we should pray for the government in fact pastor ezekiel has a feeling that whosoever is behind this could be misinformed about what he is doing and he says after all is said and done maybe somebody will come out and say forgive me because i didn't know what i was doing otherwise we are here to stand with the truth with pastor ezekiel and we know by the end of it all he's gonna be vindicated and he is going to be set free Amen. we trust in the justice of the court and so far so good we bless the name of the lord Amen. Amen. yeah for that we meet after that we meet after the ruling then we shall address the court fully